All right, all right. I want to welcome everybody back to the Toman and Taz podcast. I'm hosting today, Mr. Taz, aka Seymour Clips. We have a wonderful panel of ladies here. And I'm going to start with uh, Miss Chocolate Rose. Can you say hello to the people? Hello to the people. All right. <laughs> any, hello, any, everybody. Happy Sunday. Any social media or things you might be doing that you want the audience to pay attention to? Sure. You can always catch me chilling on Facebook at Carla Watts on Facebook. Um, also on Instagram, Carla Fonzarelli. Um, and also my YouTube, which um, we're just firing up now. That is Carla, Carla Franklin Watts. All right. All right. So let's go to the next person, which is Miss Lisa. Hello. All right. Do you have any social media or events or anything of that nature that you want to direct uh, the audience to? Not at the moment. Okay. All right. All right. And now we got Miss Lima. What's up, baby cakes? How you doing today? All right, all right. Hi, how's everybody doing? Happy Sunday, people. All Happy right. Sunday. So, is there any social media or any kind of events oh, that you want look, people to? You know me. Mine is Halima, which is my first name. My husband's name is Lottie, and uh, last name is Manachanita. So we have a Facebook page together. I purposely do it because you have all these haters in the world. And I needed my husband to be able to look at my page and his page at the same time, so we were looking at the same stuff. Okay. We've been married. Tw- we've been married twenty three years. Oh, congratulations! Awesome. Twenty three years, <laughs> and count and counting and counting. So that's where I am. All right. And I'm happy to be here and good to talk to you again. So. All right. That's all right. Good to have you again. Okay. Awesome. La- last but not least, bringing up the rear, not literally, but Mr. Toman. <laughs> Say hello to the people, man. What's good? What's good? How are everybody doing today? All right. Tell everybody about that killer TikTok. Wonderful, baby. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Everybody need to follow me on, on TikTok. The, the toe man. Y'all know what it is. You know, I here doing my little thing all the, all the time. All right. All right. Let's get down to the nitty gritty, which is what is going to be the show is going to be called. Okay. We're going to uh, call it so we could be correct. Uh, giving without conditions. Uh, you know, there's a stereotype floating around with, you know, Indian givers. That's what everybody knows it as, but we're going to try to be uh, solidly away from that title, per se, per se. But, I mean, if you want to be free, you want to be organic, and you want to have a freedom of speech or whatever, and you want to say what you want to say, you can, as long as it's, you know. All right, so, <clears throat> have you ever had someone Rather it be a friend or a significant other that bought you something or gave you something and they wanted it back as soon as they was mad at you or just for another reason and they threw it up in your face that they bought it for you. Well, we're going to talk about that today. Are you guys ready? We're ready. All right, all right. So let me start with my first question, okay? What do you think some of the reasons are that people you know, do things for you, for you and then decide that they want to take it back and mm-hmm. or throw it in your face. Mm-hmm. So we're going to start with, uh, we're going to start with Miss Lisa. Oh, really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think people want to control you with what they give you. And, and essentially, they're just not mature enough to give it to you and allow you to keep it. You know, they're not uh, mature enough to give it to you from their heart and leave it that way. That's what I feel. Okay. All right. Let's go to the newcomer, Ms. Lima. Let's let's see what she got to say. You you want me to repeat the question? Well, I liked her answer, too, though. Okay. Um, I guess it just depends on who it is. Because some people have opinions to offer or something they want to say or you know so it, i guess it just depends right mm-hmm. okay all right all right let's go to the chocolate rose would you like me to repeat the question for you or do you have an answer um i think your question was why do people 
um, give you gifts or is there an ulterior motive? Oh, no. What do you think some of the reasons are that people do the things for you? Like, you know, they give you things and then they decide all of a sudden they want to take it back from you. Like, give me any reasons that would fit under that narrative. Okay. All right. Well, I would have to speak for myself. Um, I truly, I truly give gifts from the heart. I genuinely do. If I gave you something, I wanted you to have it. I truly did. Um, but I I would um, also say that um, I'm a very emotional person. So just because I feel like that today, I might not feel that way um, later. Um, so, you know, I have been guilty of um, emotional giving. That's what we'll call it. Um, I guess to be politically correct, because I have <laughs> given things, you know, honestly, um, because I felt a person deserved it and my emotions changed, situations changed, and I took the shit back. Right. Well, oh, okay, you did. You took it back. What's your sign, boo? <laughs> um, uh, I, I, Aquarius. Okay. Because you, you gave, you, look, you gave something and you took it back? Oh, yeah, I've done that a lot of times. Oh wow! I, I'm, I'm, I I I would be the definition of the Indian giver. I'm going to be the less popular person. Okay, so I'm okay, so panel what, today. When, okay, so how how long? Okay, so the, okay, I'm sorry, I, I apologize for cutting you off. But how long between the time that you you gave it and what was the time between that you took it back? Well, I'll just give you a little background, kind of okay. like yourself, but a little bit different. Um, I too was married 23 years. And I use the term was um, very operatively. So during that uh, 23 year uh, period, I experienced a lot of emotions. I gave a lot of things. Um, there were certain um, gifts um, that I had given. Um, I'll give a specific example. Um, I purchased a second wedding ring um, for my ex-husband. And um, I purchased that because he was going through a rough time in his life. And I, I really wanted him to feel good about himself, feel good about being a man, feel good about being a father, feel good about being a husband. So I purchased a new uh, replacement wedding band for him. And when I bought that for him, my intentions were to make him feel good because I loved him. I cared about him and I knew he was going through some things. Well, you asked how much time went on. Well, about 15 years went on. And, um, we were you know, going through some things. And I, I saw the ring, which he never wore because, you know, he oh. didn't identify as a married man in public. Um, so when I, I wow. saw the ring just sitting in the box, I looked at it and I remembered why I bought the ring. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I'm a pawn this motherfucker. And yeah. I did. And That's I went and bought me yeah. some shoes. I'm with you. That's different. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right. Well, Okay, let's let's go to the toe man. Let's let's see what he got to say about the subject. Or the wow, My bad. <laughs> I'm still on wow. <laughs> you there, toe and man? I'm sorry. Look, I'm, and baby, I'm sorry because I said I say 20 years plus because me and my um unfortunately I I uh, off subject I stepped out of my race, so I'm married to an Asian dude, awesome. and I've been married 23 years to so an Asian dude because. Mm -hmm. When every black dude that I dated decided they want to put their hands on me. So wow. when I met the guy that I'm with now, I don't have that. No, he does not put his hands on me. He's an awesome husband, awesome father. It's he's everything. So I, I apologize that you had to go through that, but I went through, you know, enough bullshit that I finally found what I wanted, what I needed. I'm glad. So, I, I, again, actually, I, again I, baby, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. So, I, look, I, I apologize. I, I went off topic, but I'm I'm sorry, baby, case that you had to go through that. Okay. No, okay. Look, okay. Wait. 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 Okay. So, let me let me redirect back to the toe man. He can't. I, 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 I apologize, baby. No, you good. No, like no, I you said, good. I apologize. I apologize. Miss Lima, apologize. don't worry about it. You good. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead, toe man. Look, you got did, you got something to add did, to it. She did that. She did that. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> you knew so what you wanted. Wait, you know wait, what you needed. Wait, you know what you wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. I'm good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go ahead, tell me. You got you got any you got uh I don't know if you remember the question, but I would repeat it for you if you need to. Sorry, baby. No, you good. God damn. Can you hear us? 
Yeah, I can hear you. Can you yeah. hear me? Yeah. So, uh, do you need me to repeat the question or no? Uh, where the question was? Okay. So, <laughs> so um, it said, it said, "What do you think of some of the reasons that people like take things back when they get mad at you? You know, and and decide to throw it up in your face. Give me some reasons that someone would do that." Well. Because they're mad at you, and they're just a fucking hater. They don't want to see you looking good, especially if it's like some jewelry or some shit like that. Yeah, they don't want to see you looking good. Mm -hmm. They some fucking haters. I mean, for real, it ain't, and it might be a little controlling with it too, but mostly they some fucking haters, <laughs> and that's what and that's what yeah. they do. Yeah. I mean, for real, that's what they do because, you know, when you give somebody something, you're supposed to give them that shit because you want them to have it, right. you know? And and if I get mad at you and I take that shit back, that means I was under a false pretense when I gave it to you in the first place. Yep, yep. You know yep. what I'm saying? I really, I gave that shit to you, but I gave it to what? you for a reason. Right, yeah. You know, and it's only... The person that gives the gifts reason, you know, like, like let's say I buy you a um a Pandora bracelet, and with me buying you this Pandora bracelet, I sit up there, I charms and all that good shit, and you fuck around and make me mad, and I'm like, give back, yeah. or wait till, you, or yeah. wait till you take yeah. it off because you tell me no, wait yeah. till you take that motherfucker yeah. off and then go take it back from you. Yeah. See, I didn't give you that from your heart. I didn't give it to you right. from my heart. Right, I had yeah. alternative motives. And right, then yeah. and then the shit crazy because when you give somebody something and you take that shit back, what you gonna do? Recycle it and give yeah, it to the next yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> I mean for real, what you gonna give to the next motherfucker? Here you go, baby. Here you go, baby. You can wear it. You know well, you know like what? the temporary though. I'm gonna get it back. Well, can I can I add to that real quick? Now I got a, a friend of mine, you know, he um he he you know, he was feeling this chick. That you know he had been with for about five years He decided that he wanted to Buy her a ring Okay so <clears throat> He Bought her the ring and then When he bought, bought her the ring he had the ins Inscription in it uh, uh, You know with them in it So <clears throat> Come come down the line she doing Dirty and then when she Doing dirty he, he take the You know he, he didn't get a chance to give her the ring So he got this uh. ring now Okay, so would would it have been correct for him to find somebody else, which he did, develop feelings for, which he did, and give her that same ring? No, 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 see that right there? Hell no. Now that shit right there. Ooh, I done lit a that's fire that's under y'all asses, boy. Right there. No. Let's get it. A whole new ring. Cause you bought that ring, no, you bought you bought that ring purposely for that girl. So right. you have a new girl. So you need to find a ring for that new girl. Right. Not give that same one. Yeah, that's trifling. Okay. Uh uh, we don't play like that. Okay, uh -uh. I just, I just thought I would just. And I thought look, I would just poke he, poke the bear with see, see what y'all talking about. It. And look, okay. if she found out, and if she found out yeah, that, she'd that was be the ring that you was giving to the other girl, mm. yeah, she, oh, hard. we'd be mad. Oh, hell, Seymour, <laughs> uh -huh. yes, Seymour, yes. If I may give you some advice, when I took the ring back. I pawned it and bought new shoes. Go get you some right. new shoes. Bro. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. exactly. Okay. All right, oh, so let's let's that. move to the next question real quick, okay? <laughs> That's fun. That was a good one. That's a good one. That was. <laughs> so, That's a good one. So, so how do you guys well, feel about when some when someone like um, man, you know man. when 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 somebody does the uh, I'm I'm gonna take this back and and it's a form of control. How do you feel about that person sp specifically? Whether it be a friend, because I'm pretty sure everybody had a panel uh, on the panel has had a friend to try to control them by getting them some or a significant other. How do you feel about that person specifically? Let's start with Miss Lima. You hold them to I hold them to a distance. 
you're you're still my friend, but I know what where our relationship is. It's not where it's supposed to be anymore. So you're still my friend. I'll still communicate with you. I'll still deal with you, but you're more like an associate than a friend. Do you know the difference between between associate is somebody that you just chill with because you, they're just around. But a friend is a, a friend that you hang with, that you chill with all the time, that you get that it's your bestie or your buddy. An associate is somebody that every now and then, oh, I'll see you. Oh, if I see you in the neighborhood, oh, I'll be like, hey, that's an associate. True a boy. friend is somebody you can just sit there and be like, hey, this is my buddy, this is my ace. This is somebody I can call and I can talk to. Right. True blue. All right, Miss Lisa, same question. How do you feel? Um, I've had this happen to me in family and out of family, but I'm going to tell you, each time the person was diminished in my view, you understand? And mm -hmm. and just like uh, Queen just said, I pushed them um, at a distance. And one was my mother. Oh, oh, well, oh. I never oh. forget it. She uh, gave me a sweater beautiful black and red sweater. And then she took it back in front of everybody. Damn. I took all my clothes off except for my <laughs> underclothes and sat on the step. I was 12 years old from the time I was 13 on. I never let her buy me nothing else again. Mm -hmm. Wow, mommy, wow. Here we get. All right, all right. Wow. Miss Chocolate Rose, let's hear your response to that. Yeah. How do you um, feel about, you know, those controlling people? Um, I want to, I want to make two points. First, I just like to piggyback off of Lisa's comment, um, uh, cause I had kind of the opposite situation happen with my mom. Um, so, uh, my mom gets mad at me and again, I'm a, I'm a giver. So, um, I, my mom had like millions of gifts for me and she and I fall out. And she takes everything I ever gave her. And I used to sell Avon. So, like, I was giving her shit, like, every two weeks. Like, look, you know, trinkets and um, uh, figurines and shit like that. So, she and I fall out. She gets mad. Puts everything in a fucking hefty bag. And drives it over to my house and throws the shit on my porch. So, instead of her being an Indian giver, she took all the shit I gave her and gave it back to me. So that was a twist for your ass. On the other side of the coin. Right. And then with that being said, I'm certainly uh, my mother's child. Um, I've never had anyone <laughs> take anything from me as a result of us falling out. Um, again, I, I've been in a long relationship um, for so long that if I've, you know, sense any um, tension or, or we fighting and, 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 and I'm angry, I, I, I tear shit up that you gave me before you can take it out. Tear shit up. <laughs> Damn. You never take back anything from me. You said you tear it up. Huh? I, will tear, I will tear the shit up before you take it. Damn. So, so nothing's ever been taken from me. Ooh, I, I will destroy it. it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Don't get her mad. Shit. Right. Oh, right. Get right. it back in blood. Damn. <laughs> Come get it okay. back in blood. All right, so, all right, Toe Man. Same, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Wait, oh Toe Man. Goodness. Same, same question. How do you feel about them? Uh, them, them controlling people, man. He's still laughing. Look, at he's still. Oh shit! <laughs> Toe Man, every my time bad. you get on the phone, this something, right? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Hey, you know them Indian givers. You know, it, 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 it is what it is. I don't feel no way about them. You know, I can't fuck with you though. Once you do me like that, I can't fuck with you no more. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Friend, family, significant <laughs> other. I don't give a fuck. You be a goddamn Indian giver. You take some shit back from me, man. Fuck you. All the shit I ain't, because that shit don't be just a one way street, you know what I'm saying? It ain't right. just you always giving this shit. I'm, I'm giving you some shit too, That's you know. Right. So, so whether it's money, jewelry, goddamn, it could be fucking food. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> if, if you, I'm for real. If you take, if you take anything, if you take anything from me, you know, hey, that shit dead. 
See that? See that? That just go to show you nothing is off the table. You know, nothing is off the table. That shit fucking dead. You give somebody something, nothing is off the table. I can't believe he said food. I can't believe he said Hell food. Yeah. Nothing. Food too. Shit. Food too, <laughs> goddamn. That, I mean, hey, hey. That's just like, you know, okay, check it out. You live with the motherfucker, right? She she goddamn move out or you move out, and then the process of you sitting up there moving your shit, goddamn, you take the motherfucking food that you bought. Petty. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Petty. You know, I'm just saying. I'm just hey, saying. No, you, I'm just no saying. you right, though. You're right. You, I'm just yeah. saying. You know, you right. You, you take the motherfucking food. You so goddamn petty with the shit. You take your food. You take, <laughs> give me them seasonings. Give me the. How about that? How about that? How about that? How about that? Yeah, this shit and get the fuck on. <laughs> Don't ever call me again in life. Hey, the motherfucker, get your ass on. You want to yeah. take some. Nigga, really? Come on. I mean, you know, that Indian giving shit to me, man. That shit really just really suck ass all the way around. <laughs> I don't care how they look at it or whatnot. Yeah. That shit really sucks ass because if you give a person something, it's theirs. Yeah. Right. You know, unless you still paying for that shit, you know, if you still paying for it, then if I ask you for it back, give it back. Unless you're going to finish paying that bitch off. Okay, let's, let's move to the uh, next question. I want to talk about something. I want to talk about something that we talked about before on a previous show. It's just in correlation. It's in slight correlation with what we're talking about today. I want to talk to you about when you loan somebody something. Okay. Now, have you ever fought or argued with a friend or significant other over something that they like bought you or loaned you? Have you ever fought them over that when they want to recall? you know, giving it back or, you know, whether it be a loan or something you bought them. Now let's start with, uh, let's start with chocolate rolls right there. If you need me to repeat the question, I can. No, but thank you. Okay. Um, <clears throat> actually I was taught at a early age, a borrower nor a lender be. Mm -hmm. So I do not <laughs> lend anything and I do not borrow anything. So with that being said, if you ask me for something, if I can give it to you, I will give it to you. And I, and I don't Indian give money. I don't. Um, and if if I don't have it, I don't have it. And I and if I need something, I'm gonna ask you, can I have it? And if you can't give it to me, I'll find another means. I, I don't want to borrow anything from anyone other than a financial institution because there's, you right. know, terms and conditions. Everything mm -hmm. is in writing. You can't come and say I owe you more than we originally agreed. Um, so, um, no, I don't lend. I try not to borrow. Um, so I do not have um, that problem. Well, well put. Well said. Well yeah. said. Okay, let's go with Ms. Lima. Okay. So I'm like her. I'm like her. But I look. When I need, me and my me and my girlfriends, because I have besties. Mm -hmm. And it, we do we do tip for tap. Um one 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 month she'll have it and one month I won't have it. Right. Or one month the other one will have it and the other one won't have it. It's a tip for tap. Uh because we've been best friends for so many years, um, we borrow between us. Mm -hmm. So it's not like it's uh it's more of a, a best friend thing. So <laughs> that's what that's mine. That's the that's the way I if I need something I'll call and be like hey I need this and they'll send it to me or hey this is what this is what's going on so I have a best friend thing that I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So mine is totally different. <clears throat> so I have I have girls that I rely on. Okay. Yeah. Of okay. Course. Okay. That's cool. Everybody feels different. Okay. All right, Miss Lisa. Same question. Um, I was also just like um Robert Will was taught, you know, neither a lender or a borrower will be. However, I have lent money. I have um stipulations. I will not at the time I would not lend over fifty dollars. However, I'm this type of person. I will not come to you chasing to get you know to get my money. If I don't get my money, I bought you. 
You understand? Because you can't come back this way again. Ooh. And that's just the way I feel about it. All right. But but see the what the what what I mean is is like um when one of we went we didn't, my girlfriend went to a winery and mm. I didn't have any money to go to the, the winery. So she paid for me to go to the winery with her. Well, the next time I went, we went somewhere. We went to the Dave and Buster's a couple of weeks after that. And I paid for her to go with me to the Dave and Buster's. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah, I know. That's different. Yeah, okay. that's great. That's okay. That, cool. No, no, no. That's what. That's yeah. what. No. That's what. That's that's yeah. just what I meant. Okay. It was like you know, you you help me on this chance. I help you on the next chance. That way we all get a chance to do stuff together. So it yeah. wasn't like it's like us helping each other out when we need the help. Yeah, I can tell you guys care about each other. Right, right, right. We're talking that's about these people. <laughs> Who know they owe you and they be ducking you. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, we That's you know you th those the ones that you don't fool with. Because if, right. you know if you know that not if you know they're not right. gonna give you the money, then don't don't mess with them like that. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Or on the other side, do you got that friend that don't want to pay you back and they big so much their hands starting to look like cups? Uh, but th those are ones you don't keep around. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Yeah. Okay, told man, same question. Are you able to answer or you want me to? Yeah, I can answer. Okay, go ahead. I don't loan money, period. All right. If I don't have it, if I got it and I'm not going to miss it, I'm going to give it to you. Oh, because good. if I loan it to you, oh, I'm going to want my fucking money back. Yeah. And if you don't give me my money back, I'm liable to come burn your fucking car. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, for real, because, because, you know, it's like this. If you ask somebody to loan you some money, and they say, okay, and you be like, I'm going to give it back, and you be like, okay, then when that time comes, Right. They don't get that shit back. Mm -hmm. Nigga, I want my fucking money. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> since I helped your ass out, yes. my yes. money back, I don't want to fight you. I don't want to fight you because I know me. Right. I'm going to bring the pistol into the place. So, oh, I'm going to okay. So, I just won't loan no money. I, yeah. I give it to you. Yes. If I got it and I ain't going to miss it, I yeah. give it to you. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah. But me loaning it to you, because when you give me that date, I'm going to give it back to you in two weeks from Friday. All right, nigga, two weeks from Friday, I want all of it. Not partial, not half, not most. I want all of it. It ain't got to be the way I gave it to you, but I want all of it. Because you put a date on it. Once yeah. you put a date on it, there's no fucking excuses I'm taking. I'm not even hearing that shit. Well, I had to pay. Nigga, I don't give a damn. You had to pay me first. Right. And once you don't pay me, we done. We done. Amen. Yeah, yeah we done. We done. It, it ain't no fucking talking. Okay, well, we can know we can't do shit. We can't do nothing. You owe me. You <laughs> owe me. I'm not finna help you do nothing. 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 Well, see, what a lot not of people don't... Motherfucking time. What a lot of people don't understand is, yeah, you got your friends or your people you could borrow money from, but believe it or not, it's the same stipulations if you go to a bank. You got to pay that bank back on that certain day. You had to pay that payday loan back on that certain day. Why can't it apply to your friends and and people that you borrow money? All that shit should apply. In my can I can I add to that, please? Uh, to, um, absolutely. See more clips. The reason why I you know the reason why it doesn't apply because your friends and family members don't fucking respect you, but they'll respect the man. They'll do what the fuck they say. They'll borrow their thousand dollars and they'll pay that shit every fifteenth of the month. But then yeah. come to you, and when you ask for your money, that here go your little punk ass five dollars. Yeah. That's why. I I, that's why I don't deal with people. People don't respect you, and that's what you gotta understand. That's the bottom line, and that's yeah. why we having this conversation because nobody respects anybody, and that's why they'll pay a uh, key bank, but won't pay you. Holla. can I say something too? Absolutely. I had an auntie. Uh, her boyfriend, well, not boyfriend, the man she was sleeping with, uh, she loaned him $300. And he called, and Auntie said, it's about two weeks go by, Nisi, all of a sudden, it's like a month. He ain't gave me my money. She said, you know what I did? I said, what? She said, I took his behind the small claims court. Yes, she did. Mm -hmm. He got her $300. Mm -hmm. He talked about, oh, you didn't have to do that. No, she did, because you were supposed to give her her money that week. Sometimes so. it come down to that shit. 
Yes, it does. Well, unfortunately. Right. It does. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next question. <clears throat> so when it comes to Indian giving, the term narcissist comes to mind. Mm. So do you think that someone in your life <clears throat> will get something expen- expensive for you in a premed- premeditated thought to hold over your head and try to take it back when they're mad at you? Like, yes. has you have you ever had a scenario like that where you had a, a, a significant other or a friend and they bought something for you premeditated to ex- expect to hold it over your head later? Let's start with Miss Chocolate Rose. Well, you know, I'm a menace to society, so you ain't getting Uh-oh. shit back to me. <laughs> So unfortunately, I don't have an answer to this question. Okay, but uh, I'm I'm curious to hear about you other people. Okay, Miss <laughs> Miss Lima, how do you feel about that? I'm here, baby. Okay, you I, need me. You, you I'm need like me. her. Uh, my family members, no. I got MK bags. I wish they would take it back. No, mm. my family is not like that. Oh, my okay, family okay. Is not, uh, okay, that's not my mom. <laughs> okay, that's good. I don't have one of those. Okay, Ms. Lisa. I've had a significant other buy something. And you know, um, I kind of got the feeling that that person, they might as well have bought it for themselves. You understand what I'm saying? Because they were going to take it back. But um, suffice it to say, they didn't get it back. Mm. But um, I, I could tell that's what that was their plan because then they asked for it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But yeah, they they couldn't get it back. They couldn't get it back. Oh, okay. All right, told man, good to have you back. So, uh, you need me to uh repeat the question real quick? I don't have that one. You there, man? <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. You need me to repeat the question okay. real quick? What question? Yeah. Okay. So the question was, uh, have you ever had somebody in your life premeditatedly, if that's a word, uh, buy you something really expensive <laughs> in, in premeditation, buy you something expensive, strategically, and then hold it over your head? Has you, have you ever had somebody in your life to do that? So like they to buy me something and, and held it over my head. Yeah. Vol- you know, voluntarily all of a sudden pay your rent or oh do something nice for you and then just hold it over your head. Have you ever had a scenario like that? Yeah. Once. <laughs> Once. <laughs> Once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a motherfucker buy me a car. Uh, oh. And and she wanted it back because I wouldn't come see her. But if you bought it for me, why I gotta always show up? You been coming over. Why are you changing the damn format? Because you bought me a car, I ain't asked you for it. And plus I couldn't drive that bitch anyway. I couldn't drive a stick at the time. She bought me a stick. She got mad, wanted it back. So she so she used the car as a swipe card to keep coming over her house. Right. No, for me to no, for me to start coming over to her house. That's what I said. Yeah, but that shit didn't work. Her shit was nasty. <laughs> I wasn't going over there. Seymour. <laughs> yes. May I um add an example? It's it's kinda uh, similar. I know a person um that she does things for people. Uh, to manipulate them and to control them. And she would never ask for it back. But what she does is uh, when she does something for people, you know, she, she takes that vulnerability and then she talks about the person. So I'll give you an example. This person's family member was having a hard time needing food, needing clothing. So the gossip was, yeah, I went over so and so's house. I had to give her food because she ain't had no food in her refrigerator. I had to give her clothes because all her clothes was dirty. And you know what would she have done if I hadn't come over there? And the whole time I was thinking, like, man, if I was ever down and out, I would never tell you. 
because right. you the type of person that you gonna offer to help me, but then take the information that you have, my down and outness, yeah. use it against me, gossip about me, and then I'm sure you know she didn't say it out loud, but I'm sure that the person that she helped, I'm sure she held that over her head just based on how how she discussed. You know the the person's situation. I was disgusted, and you know when you do things like that, when you when you talk about other people around me, I eliminate you. So I knew that person. I I, I said I would never let that. I wouldn't let that person give me a crack because she probably go around tell people I was homeless and, and had no food. <laughs> but there are people that do things for you with ulterior motives. Mm -hmm. A, so yeah. maybe they can know all your business. B, so they can hold it up against you. And they may not ever want to take it back. But that's me. People use things they do for you against you. Yeah. I hope that wasn't too much off the subject. Oh, no, 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 no. You're good. No, that was perfect. That was perfect. Okay. All right. So let's move on to the next question. All right, let's see. Do you have people in your life that do things for you off of their own free will and feel like you don't owe them nothing, anything, and will never say that you will owe them that favor? So that's that real friend that does something for you and don't expect nothing in return. Do you have somebody in your life like that? Mm -hmm. Let's start mm -hmm. with Miss Lima. Okay. I I talked to you before about my brother. Uh, he's, there are six of us all together. Hmm. He is the fifth one. Mm -hmm. He plays basketball in Taiwan. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. He uh, turned, he Turned up his American citizenship to be a Taiwanesian. So um, he's on all the billboards. He's got poster boards. He's on buses. He got onesies. He's got jerseys. He's over there doing his thing. He opened up a bar. He opened up a restaurant. He's like doing his fucking thing over there. Um, I got into a car accident in my car. And I didn't want to call him at all. I didn't. Because, you know, you, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the oldest sister. You know, I don't want to call him and ask him for nothing. You know, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. I, I, I got I to gotta figure this out by myself. I don't, I didn't, I don't need you. I gotta, let me figure this out. Well, couldn't figure it out. My husband, you know, come on, baby. You know, we, we have no choice. You know, let's, you know, do your thing. So I called him. And he sent me, he sent me the, it, a little bit of money. It wasn't a lot, but it was still at a point that I had to call him and ask him. Uh, to this day, he doesn't mention it. He doesn't talk about it. He doesn't say anything about it. Uh, right now, he's worried about me getting my passports and me getting my kids' passports because I turned 52, my birthday, Christmas Day. Thank you. Right. 52. And he wants us to get our passports because he wants me to spend my birthday with him there. Oh. And I've never been there before. And he still has not asked me about the money. He's he got how's the car running? Yeah, everything's going good. I'm awesome. That's great. He has not said anything about the money, has not said anything about anything about what's going on with the passports. Y'all hitting my way? When y'all hitting my way? You still coming for your birthday? I need a whole family here now. Everybody get passports. That's great. All right, all right. So, Ms. Lisa. <laughs> Ms. Lisa, same question. Um, say it again. I'm sorry. Okay. So do you have... Hold on a second. So do you have people in your life where they do things for you on their own free will and they expect nothing in return from you? Um. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tell us about it. Yes. Um... And how do you feel about those people? Sorry. What and, did you say? And how do you feel about those people that do things for you okay. on their own free will? Like you love them, whatever. Um, I would say my family, my um I'm the oldest of three. And and both of my siblings had their children 
young. I never had children. And so I was, you know, able to contribute and, and help with the kids. And if I need anything, they'll give it to me. It's not a loan or anything. And that's because when, you know, they they needed, I gave to them. It was not a loan. Um, I have a friend, a female friend, fellow fellow veteran here, and she's um, very she's a giving person. You know what I mean? And she she makes earrings and things like that, and she wants you to have it. She likes to make food, and I go right on the Willoughby and get it. She's from New Orleans. It's delicious. So yeah, I have some people in my family, you know, in my stratosphere here who um give from the heart as well so um i think they're just natural givers all right all right let's go with chocolate rose do you have someone that would be willing to do for you on their own free will and how do you feel about that don't ask for nothing in return absolutely uh, Milton Franklin Jr., my father. My father willingly will do anything for me and for most people. But the most important thing that my father is willing to do for me is it's not money. It's the whole concept of teach a man to fish. And what we don't understand is a lot of people, especially our elders, they're withholding information from us. They're withholding things that could make us grow. And my father makes sure that he always enlightens me. He gives me information. He tells me how to approach things, how to make things better. And he does that for other people as well. And I know a lot of people that withhold information because they're selfish, they're inconsiderate, and they don't want to see you grow. Um, the person in my life that will do anything for me, information, monetary, his life. That would be my father. And how do I feel about him? Best person in the world. Absolutely. Definitely. Okay. Told man. Same question. How do you feel about it? Let's get your input, brother. You're on mute. You're on mute. There you go. I, I got you. Okay. I mean, I think it's great that you can have somebody like that, but I think I got maybe one or two people that'll help me out like that and won't ask for shit. Won't ever bring it back up. But everybody else knows you got to pay their ass back. Mm -hmm. well no put. matter what the situation is. Well put, well put. All right. Um... So let's see on the other side of the coin, the next question, let's look on the other side. Do you feel like you need to tell a person what you've done for them because they act like you never do anything for them? They become ungrateful and they act like they don't want to do anything for you in return and don't even remember or recognize that you have done something for them. Absorb that question, and let's start with Miss Chocolate Rose. That's an interesting question. And life has taught me how to deal with those type of people. Thrill me. I no longer do the rundown for what I do for a motherfucker. Because they know. They may act ungrateful, but they know what you do for them. So... The best way is you cut them motherfuckers off completely. Now, you don't do for them anymore. All of that energy, all of that support, all of that feedback, everything that you did give doesn't exist anymore in their life. You're no longer that force. You don't have to say a word. You don't have to tell a motherfucker because they know what you do for them, but they're going to be ungrateful. As long as you allow them to treat you that way. So therefore, in, in in my life lessons, I no longer do the rundown. Once I see you don't appreciate my actions, I don't do them anymore. I cut you off. And, and, and now what you've done is if you burn the bridge over a river that you can't swim on. Ooh. All right. All right. All right. Miss Lima. 
Yeah, baby, I'm here. Let's yeah, let's, let's get your input on it. I'm with her. I don't have I don't have friends like that. I don't keep friends like that in my world. You you can't if you if, you, if you're not on my level like that, then there's no point in me talking to you. <clears throat> I'm on the same page with her. Leave okay. me alone. Stay stay away from me okay. because that that negative energy that you have, I don't want it around me. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, Miss Lisa. How do you feel yeah. about about that other side of that coin where you have to tell a motherfucker, you know, or do you feel like you need to tell a motherfucker, you know, that uh, hey, I've done this and I've done that because they really act like you don't do nothing for you, and they will say it that you've n- done nothing for them. How do you I feel had about somebody, that? yeah, I had somebody do that, and I just thought to myself, I said, oh, okay, so we need to forget, and now and like. The lady said, I just left them alone. And I don't do none of that. They didn't get anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they're out of my life. And that's the way they need to be. Okay. So y'all so the ladies are basically saying, Hey, I don't I shouldn't have to remind you. You know, the proof is in the, in my actions. If you don't forgot about it, maybe I need to forget about you. And see, and it's not about things and the doing. We're talking reciprocity, respect. You understand? Know right. But then, okay. yeah, and look, yeah. oh, once you stop calling, they'll stop calling. Once you stop calling them, they'll stop calling you. Because once they yeah. once they keep calling and you stop picking up that phone, they'll be like, "Oh, okay, l- let me move on to somebody else." Because okay. you don't want to hear that bullshit no more. Do you have something to add, Chocolate Rose? Uh no, I the, the, it was perfect. I have nothing to add to that. Okay, let's bring it home with the toe man. Let's bring it home. How do you feel about that? You need me to repeat it. I can say it. Huh? You need me Ooh. to re- repeat it or the question? Yeah, man. I'm so so, so to my question. Okay. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Uh, so my question is, on the other side of that coin, do you do you feel like you need to remind certain people what you've done for them because they done totally forgot and they keep they just bypass whatever you had to, whatever you've done for them they just forgot all about it and they say you ain't did nothing for me. Do you feel like you need to do that? Well, if I'm doing for you, I'm doing for you. Mm-hmm. But once you say I'm not, I'm gonna stop. It is. Since I ain't doing, since in your eyes I ain't doing shit, so right. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna do exactly what the fuck you said. If you say I ain't doing this, and I know that I'm doing it, I'm gonna stop. I ain't gonna make you out to be a liar, so I'm gonna do every fucking thing you say. Right. If you say, you know, hey, I'm gonna give you exactly what you say. You know what I'm saying? I know what I do. I know what I do. Okay. You know, and that's all that matters. All right, we're gonna we're gonna come to an end on the show. But every time we come to an end on the show, we have to give our reflections on the show. Which basically means that from this point on, the show matter is Indian givers. Okay. So with that being said with the reflections that you're going to give how are you going to deal with these type of people going forward we'll give it one by one and then we'll close the show miss lima how are you going to deal with any of this arm's length arm's length you have to I know who you are. I know what where I stand with you. Arms link. You're my you're still my friend. You're not a friend anymore. You're an associate. You're somebody that I deal with because I want to. All right. Let's 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 go to the uh the chocolate rose. How are you gonna deal with Indian givers from this point on? Well, to quote Drake. Fucking with the kid, I pray for you niggas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Miss Lisa, your reflections on today. I'm gonna leave him alone. Just leave him alone. Chocolate okay. um, Rose was talking earlier about that that energy and that vibe. You mm-hmm. you know you keep those people out of your sphere. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Okay, the toe man. What's going on? 
What's your reflections on? Ladies. Yeah, what's your reflections on today's show? I agree with the ladies. Shit, leave them alone. I mean, you don't need that negative energy. I know as far as me, I definitely don't need that negative energy. And I'm running from that shit. You know? I mean, especially that. Especially people that, you know, don't acknowledge what you do. You know, I'm, and... You know, don't acknowledge what you do and always telling you that they did shit and want it back. I don't need that. That's that's unnecessary shit. All right. So with me, I'm a, I'm just going to end it just like this. How am I going to deal with the people, the Indian giver? I'm not. You know, I've said in a previous show before, I give you enough rope to hang yourself with, you hang yourself with. Now, you you know, you either got to go upstairs or downstairs with what kind of attitude you have as far as being an Indian guy. That's right. I only got one more thing to say. Let's all practice giving without conditions. There you go. I Let's like all that. practice giving without conditions. I want to thank, I wanna thank everybody who came out today. Miss Chocolate Rose. Very insightful. The Toe Man. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Miss Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> and definitely thank Miss Lima. I really appreciate you coming out there. Thanks, boo. All right. Good talking to everybody. All right, all right. Everybody have a good day. All right. You too, y'all. y'all take y'all care. Too. You Stay too. Blessed. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Stay blessed. All right.